ในเมื่อเขามีสิ่งที่เขาพอใจอยู่แล้วหมายความว่าไงแค่เขามีคนเขาไม่ต้องการอะไรเอา Won just revealed to playing the good news. Their band got the first place, and so playing is so proud, saying she already expected that they will win. She keeps reminding Won to be competitive and that she believes in her. But Won always sees herself as someone ordinary, as she is just the daughter of their housekeeper. เขาเป็นแค่ลูกแม่บ้านส่วนคนเป็นลูกเจ้านายไม่เห็นเกี่ยวเลยว่าคุณจะเป็นลูกใครอ่ะ Plang treated Wan and her mother as part of their family. Even Plang's parents are so kind to Wan, but it is her mother who often feels unsatisfied of whatever she is trying to do. Wan's mother always compares her daughter to Plang. Good thing Plang's parents gave support not just to their daughter but also to Wan. <laughs> Wan and Plang almost often spend their time together. This must be one reason they have a strong bond as friends. But as time goes by, they just can't accept the fact they are truly attracted to each other. Wan even told Plang how come she will ask for more if she has Plang with her. But Plang said time will come; they will have their own life, and will have their own family as well. Wan felt upset with that reality, and so she asked Plang to help her find a boyfriend. Plang as well felt disappointed when Wan asked her about it, but nevertheless, she agrees. If one day he has a fan, and he has to get married, what will he do? Find a boyfriend. 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 Museum, as Plang insists, they can find a good guy for one there who must be rich and good-looking. <laughs> Plang got a call from Frank, her childhood friend, and Wan suddenly felt jealous. But Plang assures Wan she will never be attracted to a guy like Frank. She then excuses herself for a few minutes, and when Plang came back, she was surprised to see Wan talking to a guy. And so the jealousy game starts between the two. Plang left and doesn't want to be with Wan going back home. Wan Plang, you will go where? You will go to the club. Wan Plang, what are you talking about? Why are you talking to that guy? There is nothing. As she came back, she finds Frank waiting for her, and she is not actually happy to see him. She is excited for the gift she asked from him, a classic movie from Meg Ryan. Plang didn't know Juan was there all along, listening to her talking with Frank. Then Plang said Juan can be with that guy since Juan gave her number to her. But Juan said even if she's going to be with that guy, she would still feel lonely since she rather wants to be with her. Hey, me, ผู้ชายคนนั้นเขาก็ไม่หายเหงาอยู่ดีอ๋อผู้ชายคนนั้นไม่ใช่คุณเราก็ไม่มีใครมาแทนคุณได้ด้วย But after feeling jealous with those guys, they still manage to be okay with each other and even watch the movie together. That's when Plank told Wan that she loves Meg's character in that movie, who is a doctor, and so Wan said she would take up medicine so that Plank will like her. The next morning, Plank woke up as she hears Wan's voice outside, but was upset when she saw Frank. She quickly rushed outside the house and accidentally pushed Wan from riding a bicycle. Wan said she was trying to learn how to ride a bike so she can be like Meg Ryan's character in the movie. Then Frank saw her and he was just helping her. Plank told Wan to clean her wound. Then Frank asked if Wan has a boyfriend since he finds her so cute. But Plank gets annoyed and just told him to leave. Wan's mother told her not to waste her time with a guy like Frank, and that she should find someone better. Then Plan came and told Wan's mom how clumsy Wan is, but she wanted to be a doctor. She then said she will be the one to treat Wan's wound. While talking, Wan got a call from Ek, the guy she met at the museum. She doesn't want to answer the call, but Plan did. 
she told Wan she must be so attracted that the guy really did call her. Then Wan asked Plang again if she is jealous, but Plang said it's none of her business if Wan wants to flirt with that guy. But Plang's actions contradicts on what she is saying. It can be visibly seen that she is jealous. Plang decides to leave her band members when she overhears them talk that they just wanted to stay in the band since Plang's parents is helping them financially and that Plang actually only has one friend and that is Won. Plang came home expecting Won to be there but she isn't so she called her. Won said she is just buying some stuff and she will be home. Wan quickly went to her room and changed clothes when Plang came. It was too awkward since Plang finds Wan barely naked. While waiting for Wan to finish taking a shower, Plang noticed Wan got a message from Ek. This made her furious as she reads the message and knew that Wan met with the guy. Without saying anything, she just stares at Wan and left. And that's when Wan realized Plang must have read the message from Ek. Wan didn't care if she will cry in front of other students as long as Plang will talk to her. Wan explains that she met Ek accidentally when she was waiting for the bus going home. She did not plan to meet him or anything. Plang said she knows time will come they will have their own partners but the time has not come yet and she is not ready for it and so she feels protective towards Wan. During dinner, Plank's parents discuss about their daughter and the chances she will have a boyfriend. One not feeling okay about it excuses herself. Then Plank told her she was just joking, then one said she is really jealous. The next day, Wan tells Plang she has to be with her classmates as they need to buy materials for their project. Plang is not convinced Wan is telling the truth and so she follows Wan at the bookstore. Plank feels relieved that Wan is telling the truth, but she suddenly saw Ek walking towards Wan, and she just don't know what to react and feel when she saw them. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.